Hey guys, uh, I'm back here in the garage working on the 64 Impala. Um, Mr. Fireman164 asked a question about uh, what I was doing on the other side. Uh, I don't know if he understood that I, I wasn't trying to open this, this gap here. Um, so he asked a question and I figured it'd just be easier to make a video and try to answer typing it out and describe it. But anyway, if you notice, I don't know if it'll pick it up on camera. <clears throat> this this body line up here matches with the door. This body line here on top, where this chrome piece of trim goes on this flat part, this line here matches with the top. And if you notice, this bottom line does not match. Uh, this is one inch masking tape, and the this line here is probably approximately one inch. So if you line this tape up, with that, just kind of line it up there. You notice it, it lines up here, comes along here, but if you notice, this is off here. You still have this black remaining, so when you close the door, you can see, you can see the difference of this width of this line compared to this line. So, what I did is I measured the other quarter panel, and um, I just took measurements so far and measured it marked it here 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 and so on down to the end so what I come up with is when once I get my marks down here then I go ahead and just strike me a piece of masking tape which even here at the end and then I just line it up on my marks come all the way down till it lines up where I need to trim it so you have this piece left here. So what I do at that point, uh, let's see if you can see. That. What I do at that point, I just cut it, cut the plant panel here. I split it all the way across, all the way down to this end, approximately about right in here. That allows this panel, this whole panel, will drop, and it'll have a movement of of, of up and down. So once I split it, split it to here and it drops on me, then I go ahead and trim off what I need. Trim off of this panel part here. I try to leave this curved part here. So I just trim approximately sixteenth of an eighth, an eighth of an inch to sixteenth of an inch, somewhere in there. I just trim it. And then what I do is I lift this panel up and close it. If it makes sense, once this panel is split, it's movable up and down. So once I trim it, then I move it up to where it's cut here, and just move it up, close that, and then start stitch welding. So that creates where this, this will match up with this line. So I hope that makes sense. Um, he was asking me which way I moved the panel, so the best way I can describe it, once I cut it, then this whole panel basically just has movement up and down. And it's got enough, it's got just enough movement to move it up to where I can close it and weld it. And then that creates the, a narrow, a more of a narrow gap here at the start. And of course it stays a little bit wider towards the end, it, it'll stay wider like that. But that's what I was doing on that other side, and that's what I will have to do on this side, too. So I hope that answers your question, uh, Roger. Um, that's the best way I could figure to describe it instead of typing it out and everything. So um, I'll try to upload load this tonight and, and uh, <clears throat> so you get an idea of what I was doing on that end. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that's, probably, that's probably all I was just doing a little bit of welding on the other side I've got I did some spot wheels on the underneath the wheelhouse on that quarter so I was just going to continue a little bit and then call it call it a day so thanks again guys for watching